Hey guys, welcome back to ETL QA Labs. Uh, today we will see some of the ETL testing related questions that are frequently asked in interview. So in the last video, we have seen um, some of, uh, not some, but at least uh, very basic commands related to, you know, shorting the files, getting the, the unique records from the file, merging two files and getting the unique records from the file, right? And also we have seen that if we want to uh, find out the unique record, uh, unique uh, field, right? Unique value from a field that also we can do. So today in this video, we will see that how, uh, what are the different ETL questions which are asked. So now uh, we will cover some of the questions and then uh, uh, I will try in the next videos, I'm trying to plan uh, to create the playlist for the Unix based uh, you know, system and uh, for the Unix one, we will be covering the Unix uh, related command, which are really important for any ETL tester or which can also be, you know, uh, beneficial for the people who are working into Unix or cell scripting background. Right. So let's uh, start uh, on today's agenda. So uh, the question uh, that the interviewer can ask is uh, verify the row count between source and target given this is a direct mapping and no filtration involved, right? Which means that there is a source system, which is the file based system, right? And then the target after, you know, ETL is processing, it is loading into the target table. That is the database. So how do you ensure that the row count are matching exactly, right? So for that purpose, uh, what we will do is we, the approach is we will take the count from the source and then again, we will take the count from the target and then we will compare if both of them are matching, then we will say, yeah, both of them are matching. The counts are matching, right? So it is one of the very important ETL checks that the QA has to do because this is also called the data completeness check, right? So how much count you are getting from source and the target both should be matching. Otherwise, you know, we have to find out why that is not matching and there might be any issue with the system, right? So how do we do is the approach is we will uh, find uh, the, you know, row count from the source system that is flat file uh, in this case, our case. And then uh, after that, we will uh, run the same query in the target and we will see that, you know, um, we are also getting the count from the target, right? So database. So let's go to our Unix system and then we will see that. Okay. So, all right, guys, I'm clearing the, okay. So I have <coughs> this file, CSV file. All right. So I have how many records? We have some nine records. Yeah. So what I will do is I will try to see the record count here. Okay. And obviously I need to find out the, the unique record count uh, from the system. Right. So what I can do cat emp dot csv and then I will say short minus u. All right, short minus u and then hyphen wc hyphen l. All right, so I will explain it here. So what we are doing this, we are just trying to get the content from this file using the cat command. And then the same output that we are getting is redirected to the getting the unique record, right? So when I say unique record, it is basically considering all the files, right? All the fields, sorry. So for example, one, number two, number three. So these are the three different fields which are the separated by comma. So it is considering all of them. If all of them are exactly same, then it will consider that as a duplicate, right? So if you see here, these three records are duplicate, right? So in this case, it will only consider one record. So if you count it here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, right? So it has actually skipped these two, this second. It has only count the first one, all right? So that is how it is coming as, and then uh, once we get the output, we will again not display it. We will again redirect to another, uh, you know, Unix command that will give you the count, right? So WC is uh, the command that is used to give the count 
and hyphen l will give you the line count or we can say the record count right so row count so this is how we will get it now what we will do is we will try to go now uh, we will try to see uh, in database right so in database we should also get the 7 we should not get 9 all right because here we have duplicate but in target also we should have it so etl should take care of it um, so let's go to our database all right so i already have table here emp tgt this is the table yeah so here also we have loaded it but my idea is uh, you know my idea is to get the count right so i would like to verify there is no duplicate in the target so i will just run it or rather i can say select employee id employee name and then uh, dept id from emp underscore tgt i will try to i will do the group by right on all these important fields have to do the group by take some problem here but i will just try to type it mpid imply name i am grouping based on all these three columns all right and then when i am done i will say having count of star is greater than 1 right sorry it should Alright, so here you see that there is a duplicate record loaded in the target. So ideally when we process the data uh, through ETL, ETL should be taking care of this uh, duplication, uh, should take care and duplication should not be present. So this is the checks that we have to do, do that if there is any duplicate in the target or not. So ideally we should not have any duplicate. In this case we found that there is a duplicate record which is this one, employee ID, employee name and department ID, right? So this is the second, um, this is very, very important question. People will generally ask you in the question, interview questions, uh, interview, right? So second question that we will see is uh, verify the duplicate rows are not loaded in the target, right? So what we will do is we will, All right, this is pretty much similar question. Okay, so let's skip this question. In the first question, what we have done is we have just you know uh, tried to get the overall count, right? But here actually we are taking the uh, the um, the actual record. Here what we have done is we actually should have uh, get the count, right? So in the previous example we have taken the count here, here, right? And then. Um, so what I should have done is, yeah, so the first question, I should just take the count, all right? So this is for the second question, first question. I just want to get the count, right? So what I will do is, I'll say select distinct, distinct star, all right? I'm just taking the distinct from employee target. You see that we are getting seven record, right? But then if I need to get the count, then I can just use the subquery and I can use this as a input table. All right, you see the seven and in Unix also I have seen the seven, right? So which means it is matching, right? Matching uh, because I have also considered his here uh, un, uh, the distinct one, right? But most of the cases I will not consider the distinct one then if I take the count directly all right like this it will give you nine right all right so when we go to the second question we just seen right we wanted to see whether we have any verify the duplicates are not loaded so first of all what i will do i will try to see whether you know i have duplicate or not in my source so what is my source my source is unix system 
and obviously there is a duplicate that I uh, so here we can see uh, because we have very less record but in Unix uh, when the file is like you know records mul millions and millions of record then it is very difficult will not be able to do it all right so what I will do is I will just uh, take the file name short it out and then there is a command called unique command and hyphen D means it will give you only duplicate right so you see here we came to know this is the duplicate record so using the unix command we were successfully able to find out which uh, record is a duplicate so we came to know that this record is a duplicate all right and the same thing i would like to see uh, in my database yeah it should not have duplicate but by mistake if there is a duplicate in the database then that also i would like to verify here right so using the command so what we have done is in the previous command that i have showed you here right so you see here also i got the duplicate here which means this table that is loaded employee underscore emp underscore target tgt table data that target table doesn't uh, means it is having a problem so etl job is uh, is not working as expected all right let's go to third question and uh, we will see here uh, verify the unique row count in source and target okay so how do we find the source and target uh, count so we we are mostly interested to get the ta the unique record right we are not uh, getting the unique record so when i say unique record so how many record i should get in the source i should be getting exactly seven records okay so i will just find the the count so i will again use the command cat emp dot csv then short minus u and wc minus l okay seven records in the target also which is my database i should be getting i should be getting the seven records right so you see here i have used the same thing right so i'm actually taking first of all my query is actually trying to get all the distinct record and then from this dis distinct record i'm taking the count so if you say Thing like this yeah so we uh, we have covered all these three questions which are very important I think once you understand the concept this is very easy for you but then uh, you know um, these are all of the questions are very interrelated so concept is very important try to understand and uh, in the next session i am trying to cover the uh, the unix uh, operating system or i mean say i would say the unix command from very basic to we will take up, up to intermediate level so uh, don't uh, uh, i mean uh, please subscribe my channel and uh, then uh, uh, utilize uh, my channel uh, to the best uh, for your knowledge all right so for now um, I think we are done in this session and see you in the next session. Bye.